This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to show you how to build an Adobe Air Carlotta PaperVision 3D viewer. Let's show you the file real quick. Uh, basically, we've been working with the Carlotta format quite a bit. We are actually uh, have certain formats we want to bring into uh, the Carlotta and into PaperVision through that Carlotta file format. And to do that, we have to actually look and compare Carlotta files and look at graphics as well. And so we've created this viewer for a working file, which we can save and change, and also compare it with object files or other Carlotta files, and look at those images on the screen. So let's go ahead and open up a Carlotta file, for example. So if you go to Open, and go to Carlotta, you can choose from numerous Carlotta files. Let's take a look at a tank, for example. And it'll bring up the Collado file, and it'll bring up a tank uh, image here, and we can compare that to another file. Now, what you can do right here is you can actually change the uh, magnification, so it makes the tank a little bit smaller. And you can come over here and actually you can actually um, rotate the tank, and you can use the zoom button to zoom in further on the tank or to zoom out. And then you come along here and you can actually uh, give yourself more room to view the tank at by uh, changing these scroll bars. There you go, so you actually see the object that you're working with. Okay, so we're going to open up a file. We're going to open up a, a Roman soldier file. So we're going to open. And we're going to click on Carlotta. And uh, in that Carlotta file, we can see there's several um, uh, Carlotta files that have been generated. My son, James uh, Lively, actually made most of these. And I'll click on the uh, Carlotta Roman. I'll click on the Carlotta Roman soldier. And you see there's a soldier right there. Let's zoom in on him a little bit. And we're going to open this up a little bit so we can see it better. There you go. And we're going to rotate him just a little bit. Oh, he's upside down, so let's bring him around. And we can actually now change the uh, direction. I'm going to show you how to do that. Just come over here to Collada File. And we're just going to change this to Z. So just change this to Z. And go ahead and hit uh, Save. And you say that it's actually changed to position. So as you make changes to the Collada file over here on the uh, left-hand side, then you can actually uh, see those changes implemented on the right-hand side in the uh, paper vision uh, uh, view. And let's come back here. We can zoom in on him a little bit more if you want to. So another thing that you can do is actually compare this to an object file. For example, you might want to do that. So you can come over here to the uh, File Options and click on open compare file and click on that and sometimes we want to see what the object files look like that we're bringing the uh, Carlotta uh, file from and there's what an object file would look like and you see your first set of vertices and then you have your uh, texture overlays and finally your triangular coordinates so we're actually using this uh, particular program to help us move forward in our Carlotta development we want to build a material editor and we built this program basically to help us do that so this is an Adobe Air application. Now, if you don't have any experience in Air, you want to go to my YouTube, www.youtube.com forward slash MikeNKU, and you want to watch the Adobe Air getting started embedding a browser into Flex 3, and that could be some of the basics of building an Adobe application. In addition, there are two fantastic books out there. One is a beginning Adobe Air, uh, Building Applications for the Adobe Integrated Runtime by Rich Tritola, and there's another what I would consider the book of the year on Adobe Air. Fantastic book. The only uh, downside of this book is it's got so much packed into it that sometimes they don't go through the detail of the code that you need to see because they assume that you already know how to use Air. If you have a problem with that, just go back to the previous book, uh, Beginning Adobe Air by Rich Tritola, and he'll uh, show you everything you need to know about the basics of Air, and then you can use both books in conjunction, and that's exactly what I do. Fantastic book. Buy this book, Adobe Air, Create, Modify, Reuse, and it'll give you all that free source code. Now, you can actually download that source code from uh, the following site, www.walks.com, dynamic, slash, books, slash, download.aspx. Go ahead and go to that site, download the source code, unzip, and you want to get that text editor because we're going to use that portion of code to build this uh, particular application. This application was built using my molecule builder, the text editor found in the... Uh, Adobe Air book and a basic simple Carlotta load. Now if you don't know how to load a Carlotta file, here's a great um, site to go to. PaperVision2.com forward slash loading dash complex dash models. Let's go to that site real quick. And this particular site they show you how to load a cow. And I grew up on a farm so cows are great things to have around and uh, 
Here's the code on how to load a Collada file, and it's extremely simple. And if it's your first exposure to uh, loading Collada file, let me just give you the code real quick here. Basically, there's I have about five lines of code here or six lines of code here on how to do it. You want to import the important classes to do the load, and that's the display object and the Collada parser. Then you just declare a Collada display object, 3D. And then inside of the constructor function, the, the one that creates the viewport and uh, the scene and all the other uh, basic engine of uh, paper vision, you want to uh, create a Collada variable and set that to your current file, whatever you've clicked on in the application, and then just add that to the scene. And that's all there is to uh, adding a Collada file to paper vision. And we do that in our application. And I'll show that to you here in a moment. Let me go back and show you one more thing. All of this uh, code is uh, released uh, for our application, is on our Google Code site. So just go to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex3 cookbook1, and you can download all the source files that we're going to show you today. Let me go to that site right now. And in our downloads on Google Code, you can see there's the Collada viewer.zip. Just go ahead and download that zip and unzip it. It is an Adobe Air, so you want to click, click that red button to get it into Flex. And all the source code that we show you today is there, including the Collada files. So let's go ahead and start talking about how to build this application. So we are in Adobe Flex right now, and this is an Air application, which means it will run on your desktop. And we called it Collada Editor 2. And below you can see here's the Collada Editor file. Let's click on that real quick and bring that up. And it's actually very simple to build. You know, of course, with the Adobe Air application, you see the window application as opposed to just the application tag. And the first thing you're going to do in that window application is bring up the on start app or on app initiate, which will initiate the entire application. Uh, of course, you see the typical import statements that you'd find in any paper vision or flex uh, uh, application. And there they are right there. And below that, uh, you have an abindable expression that gives you your zooms. And your camera you're using today is the Frustrum camera, which we got from the molecular application. Now, if you don't know where that is, just go back to my YouTube, look for molecule, molecule Viewer, and you can download that code, once again, off of uh, Google Code. Here's the typical start for the uh, engine. So you see right here, we're declaring all our, in a sense, all our private variables. Once those variables are declared, then you have basically a Corlata file. So let's go back up to the application uh, tag. We're going to look at the initiation on start. Let's click on that. And what that does is brings us to the text editor. So the first thing we're going to bring up into this uh, application is the text editor. So this application basically has two parts. It has basically that molecular viewer application, which gives you the paper vision part. And it has the text editor, which allows you to essentially to open up the Corlata files and manipulate them and save them. So here we're opening up the Collada file and this is pretty much is the same text viewer as you get from the uh, book Create, Modify, and Reuse. And as we move down here, the big things that you need to change as far as to, to manipulate it is you put that same code into your uh, application. The things you need to change basically the type files that you're bringing up. So here under the prompt user to open file, basically what you're going to do is you're going to change this to Collada and it's a star.dae file, and that allows the uh, text filter to only allow you to open up the DAE file, which you want on the uh, left side of the application. Now, the object file, which I opened up, is opened up in a second prompt user to open file 2, and I added this to their code. And in that side, you can open up either a DAE file or an object file. And those are two most important files in working with the Collada file that we need to look at. The first one is the Collada file, DAE, and the second one is that object file that are generated by most uh, applications. And if not, you can actually find other applications like Milkshake to uh, convert to an object file. And those were the two important things that I added to the uh, text code. And then if you go, and so once the text code is run, so when I open a file, let's go to the file open function. So when on file open select, I open a file, let's click on that. And in the open file, I have an on complete. When that file is completely streamed in and opened, then the thing I need to do is uh, basically run the Collada file creator. So I go to the Collada file creator, and it begins doing everything that I want Collada to do, basically creating my viewport and my canvas and uh, my scene, and it adds the scene as well, and then the render engine. And it creates my Collada file. 
and it adds my colada file to the scene. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The big thing here, though, which is different than what you might have seen before, I'm not grabbing a specific URL. I'm grabbing the current file that I clicked on. So whatever I click on, it brings that Collada file into the scene. And that's pretty much all there was into creating this application. The source code is there. The books you need to refer to are there as well. Take a look at what I did, put it back, put it together, and work with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and email me. So that's all there is to it, and I hope you enjoy this application.